Welcome back to NGTV Play Super Smash Brothers Melee. Preacher myself, Spencer, my co-host Matt. I'm playing as Martha, that's playing as Falco. We're here live on Twitch.tv slash and Flow Gaming TV. And maybe we'll be doing a best of five with some slippy stats. Game is amazing. Uh, game is amazing. The bugs are eh. <laughs> yeah, Northern Lion was talking about how he's like, the game is getting bad reviews, mainly because so many people want to play it, and it's like, it's too buggy. Plus, like, the online was kind of fucky or something that was happening in the first couple of days. The online is like 80% of the issues. Servers are fucked and nothing has accounted for server delay. <laughs> Damn it. I say this because the offline play of the game is mint. Only variable is servers and the delay between you and the server. Ooh, if there's server delay, that sucks. Input lag is like the bane of my existence. Yeah. How is it that all these games lately have been having such bad like in like server issues? I say that and then I realize games have always had kind of bad server issues at first. Yeah. I don't think we appreciate the games that just come out working just fine. You know? Yeah. Am I moving it all weird? Anthem, cough, cough. Damn it.
Come see. need to be hired as a mechanic tester or something for games because I can tell you the reason for most of these issues God. Yeah, it probably doesn't help the use in Cry Engine, which is such a weird engine. Or Cry Tag, whatever the fuck it's called. Well, the, I think the company's called Cry Tag, and I think you're right about it being called Cry Engine. Welcome back. Welcome back. Got my cherry Coke Zero. About to play some Dead Cells. Nice. Hell yeah, brother. About CryEngine Edge? Oh, gagging about CryEngine. Yeah, I wasn't sure he was gagging about that or about Cherry Coke. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Cherry Coke wouldn't buy it because Coke it's not really my taste. You Pepsi guy, Dr. Pepper guy. Damn. Pepper and Pepsi, yeah. Yeah, I don't like regular Coke. You know, for the longest time as a kid, I never put together the fact that Dr. Pepper wasn't talking about... Like, like I didn't know what the pepper part meant. So I was like... But, like, that's kind of funny that they... I mean, there's no pepper in Dr. Pepper, is there? And, like, 23 flavors. One of them being pepper. No, it's just pepper. We're fucking crazy. All the fucking soda companies came up with... 
like came around around the same period of time where pep was like a term people like no used. Coca Cola came out in like eighteen like seventy something. It's like the oldest, one of the oldest Coca-Cola things. One of the oldest colas. I'm like, oh shit, we could totally make bank if we put cocaine in our shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like Coke that much either. on my very way. Damn it. on the other side I'm coming well, sometimes it'd be like that What's your least favorite? Or and Nimbus, what's your guys' least favorite soda? Oh, uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Sprite. Mine is any Dr Pepper knockoff. You don't like Sprite Edge? Mr. Pip, Pib, the freaking PB Max or whatever the fuck it's called. Fuck those. Uh, Dr. Skipper? Doc, no, that's Captain Skipper. That was a Dr. Skipper. Or Mr. It was a Mr. something too. Uh, yeah. Mine is Mountain Dew or McDonald's Sprite. Yeah. I also don't like any... I don't like regular Mountain Dew. Yeah... You, I, I picked two. Okay. All right. Game one. FD. Mine is McDonald's Sprite, only McDonald's Sprite. Yeah. Even still, it's my least favorite. One second. Not a fan of pure lemonade flavors.
Nice. Oh, you don't like AW root beer. Oh yeah. I only like Bark's root beer. Or IBC. Yeah. God damn it. I don't really like squirt that much, dude. <laughs> I don't like squirt. I don't really like squirt. I think it might be my my latent acid reflux, though. Mm, it is. It is I think acidic. out of all of the lemony... The lemon-lime flavors? Yeah. That squirt has the biggest bite. I do like Sierra Mist, though. I think Sierra Mist is all right. It's definitely moved up in the rankings the past, like, 10 years. It used to be a pretty cheap, like, shitty kind of one. Mm -hmm. It's definitely moved up in the rankings. All right. Good FOD. Game two. We're going back. <laughs> um, nothing personnel kid shit
Good deal. I could not I had, that to, I had to pull out so many so many new tricks. Is that a 3 0? Fuck. What sucks about that is like like I totally hesitated on pulling the trigger like a couple of times in the last stock. I was afraid I was gonna mess it up. Mm. What the fuck is wrong with our like alert box? What the fuck does that even say? Uh, source not found. Oh, sight not found. Fucking weirdo. All right. Final destination, three minutes and six seconds. I got two stocked. You rolled once, air dodged once, spun dodged three times. I rolled three times, air dodged once. Uh, you had eight neutral ones, I had 12. You had 14 counter hits, I had 10. You had two wave lands, I had zero. Your inputs were 328, mine were 281. So, you killed with a forward smash, a back air, a down tilt, and a down air. I killed you with an up tilt and then a forward smash. He's up tilt at 210%. You had a 47% combo followed by a 40% combo on my first stock, a 59% combo on my second stock, a 43% combo on my third, and a 37% combo on my last stock. I had a 51% combo followed by a 42% combo on your second stock. So, nifty. All right, so I got four stocked on Fountain of Dreams in one minute and 39 seconds. Don't really know what happened here. Um, I just got killed. Straight up just got killed. You rolled three times there, dodged three times, but dodged twice. I didn't do any of those. Um, My damage per opening was 15.4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had eight neutrals. Dude, I converted. Yeah, like almost 100% of the time. Yeah, that's nutty. You had eight neutral ends. I had four. You had four counter at side five. Uh, you, oh my god, dude. Look, look, look at my actions. I wave dashed one time, wave landed twice, and dash danced twice. And you still moved 300. I hit the buttons that many times. Doesn't mean that many things happened. Is there a boss in the clock room? There is. You came with a down air, down air, down air, and then a neutral B. You had an 83% combo on my first stock. I had a 62% combo on your first stock, and that was the last of the cool things I did. And then you had a 70% combo followed by a 40% combo on my last stock. It's basically like, knock me off stage, kill me. Knock me off stage, kill me. Kind of dreams. Uh, uh, two redux. Um, three minutes and 53 seconds. Definitely try to fix some of the issues I had, which was basically don't get thrown off stage and down aired. Really, what that ended up being, you know, avoid that whole situation. Try to control neutral war. Um, you had nine rolls, six air dodges, and two spot dodges. I had two rolls, three air dodges, and two spot dodges. You had 15 neutral ones. I had 11. You had 12 counter hits. I had 14. Uh, you had two wave lines. I had three. Nice. Your inputs were 314. Mine were 360. Oh shit, Xbox style. Yeah. <laughs> Came with a down air, a down smash, a back air, and then a back air. I killed you with an up B, a forward smash, and then a forward smash. You had a 50% combo on my first stock, a 45% combo on my second stock. I had a 47% combo on your second stock. Then I had a 53% combo on your last stock, and you had a 48% combo on my last stock. Pretty close game. Yeah. Definitely. Almost brought it back. On the same stage you got four stocked on. Yeah. Because I knew I could, I mean, like, because that was the stage that I won last time. You know? You know, this is a volatile matchup. It's so crazy how quickly you can just kill me sometimes. Yeah, I get a couple good reads. There's a lot of down air spacing that doesn't even give me a chance to attack. You know? Yeah. Um, when uh, ledge guarding. I 
Man. That's crazy. Then I had to eke out the victory on the on the Dreams Redux. Why are there so many different names for the same shit? Different languages. That's really all it is. I think Redux is like probably Latin. French in origin. And it's probably not even pronounced Redux. It's like redo. Yeah. You know. Still. But there are a lot. I think people, like, I think a lot of times, like, media has really uh, caused... Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, <clears throat> Japanese game developers brought Redux to America. <laughs> Definitely feels like that. Uh, but yeah, like, media in general just, I think, has, has had to come up with as many synonyms as possible for shit. Because there's only so many times you can say such and such, too. You know? Mm -hmm. Try to, like, mix it up. Anything else specific you wanted to, to talk about? Uh, no. I still think you played pretty good. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not totally upset with the way I played. It's just, it's, it's always drawing when you get just, like, four stocks. And I know what it was, is just I kept putting myself in a situation close to the, the ledge and not, like, having a full game plan. I lost my third stock, or my... I don't remember if it was my third stock or my second stock, because I was standing there waiting for you to get close to me so I could up be out of shield. And instead, you just grabbed me. Yeah. <laughs> that was sick. I was like... Because I was like, nine times... Basically, ten times... 9.99 repeating times out of ten, I go down with an aerial or a shine or something like that. And then I was like, well, he's he's waiting for me to do that so he can shield grab me or something. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, just go down there and grab. Yeah. Is the electric whip three plus plus better than a blood sword five? Look at the stats, dude. Yeah. I don't think you really make uh, set decisions in that game just on the weapon alone. You like look at the stats and yeah. Unless it's like a big slow weapon. Mm. Then I'm like, eh, I don't really want to fuck with that. That's why games have a damage and also a DPS. But I think in the newest patch, uh, Electric Whip got buffed pretty good. Also, if you ask Matt if whether or not he prefers something or Whip, he's going to say Whip. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say Whip. I'm a Dex boy for life. Even though that's apparently resin. And that means I wore a bow tie to high school. The resin also equals like nerd or something. No, also class. <laughs> Anyways, name for the episode. Um, I don't even know. Um, I was gonna ask you that. Fuck. Just, just like when he jumped down and grabbed instead of hit me on my shield. <laughs> Call that my option. <laughs> Bleeding is good. Uh, probably good against bosses, I'm assuming, right? Or big, yeah. or like just big. big yeah, I mean, big it's enemies. good against everybody. I really like how Dead Cells does DOT. Actually, feels like DOT. Yeah. Does it stack? Yeah. That's yeah. That's probably that's that tends to be the the the, the common denominator between uh, DOT that's good and DOT that's like kind of shitty is whether or not. Well, it stacks. I mean, like in Hades, the DOT. It stacks. It stacks, yeah, but like, it doesn't feel as good as it does in Dead Cells. That's why I never pick Dionysus. I don't respect it. the DOT. The Electro Group has 20 or 1200. 1295 DPS 560. versus 560. Yeah, but then you have to also account for the, the bleed damage over time. Yeah, the reason why it's lower damage base is because the bleed damage is considered separate. Dream. Yeah, I mean, you know, when push comes to shove, you can have more than one weapon in your shit at once, right? Yeah, you can have two. Yeah. So just have both. Hey, Flores. Um, name of the episode. Fountain uh, Redux? Sure, Fountain Redux. All right, so we're going to call this episode. For those in the stream, we're not going offline just yet. We have a time on the bottom left, so we can turn these into episodes for YouTube. So stick around. We have another episode coming up next. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, check us out live on Twitch.tv. Uh, 
TV. Twitch.tv slash Gaming TV. And we'll see you guys next time.